The 2009 population census will be the fifth since independence. It's an exercise that is carried out every 10 years, with the last one being held in 1999. Though census information is meant purely for planning purposes, there are fears that there could be rigging in the exercise with probable deliberate distortion of the figures in order to benefit from higher locations of devolved funds. But if people have to put in the politics, you and me, eh, we have no control. The question of population and the question of where people are is going to be very, very important, not just as a political question, but even as a resource allocation question. So, of course, the temptation to manipulate is going to be tremendous. The 1999 census results were never released. The then political bigwigs trashed the figures, claiming that they were inconsistent. The Ministry of Planning is now under pressure to avoid a repeat of the 1999 debacle and make the results public as soon as possible to make the exercise credible. In fact, we are expecting provisional results by the end of December. The tribe factor is another crucial aspect in the forthcoming exercise. Some donors and a section of the civil society wanted the tribe question dropped from the census questionnaire on grounds that it would frustrate efforts towards national healing after last year's post-election violence. However, that argument has been dismissed as intellectually dishonest because the tribe question has featured in all the last four census exercises. People have taken the negative aspects of tribe and they are trading in it. When in fact, there are probably 10,000 times positive aspects of belonging to a tribe. And now the whole process is being politicized. People are saying they will not say they are tribes. But let me assure the Kenyans that you are not bound to state your tribe if you feel that you, you, you don't need to provide uh, the, 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 your, your tribe. Data on tribe was last provided in 1989 census. Out of the 1989 figures, it was estimated that the Kikuyu comprised 22% of the population, followed by the Luya at 14%. The Luo was said to make up 13%, with the Kalenjin constituting 12% of the population. The Kamba had 11%, while the Kisi and Meru hit 6% each. To enhance the credibility of the census exercise that is estimated to cost 7 billion shillings, the government has for the first time invited international monitors. Other African countries that have recently conducted successful census exercises include Egypt, Algeria, Nigeria and South Africa. Francis Gashuri for Sunday Live.